Max Jones records an episode of Weekend News Today. What is your favorite thing about teaching fifth graders? At 12 years old, he's a little younger than your average news anchor, but he believes he can still teach the recession-hit journalism business a thing or two. Max says he only covers happy news in his weekly online broadcast. In these times, people really do need to be inspired and um, happier than they are because so many things are happening in their lives. We'll be back with some more happy news. Right By searching online, Max has put together a team of teenage reporters worldwide. In Chicago, I'm Zach Isaacs. They file stories from locations such as London, Paris, Beijing and Johannesburg. We've gotten so many compliments from so many people and so many good reviews and testimonials. Um, it's just, it's really great. Here we go, Max, the three. Unlike other kids his age, Max's role models are not pop singers or sports stars, but television news anchors. Right now we're interviewing the mayor of McAllen, Texas. Although not part of a school um, project, Max records his newscasts in a studio at Lake Highland Preparatory School in Orlando. At school, he is known as a shy kid, but not when he's reading the news. He does it very naturally, and, um, and I'm very, very proud of that. Max has other interests, like playing the cello, but he says journalism is his passion. He campaigned for the release of U.S. reporters Yuna Lee and Linda Ling, who were detained in North Korea. He even got a call from Ling thanking him for his help. Max says children his age should be more tuned in to world events. The world revolves around them, is what they think, but um, it, there are other people in the world. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm more interested in the other people than I am myself. Last night, journalist Laurel... A popular morning news show on American television inspired Max to start up his broadcast. He now spends about five hours a week working on the program, which he says gets around 5,000 online hits a day.